Hardware fans, Steve here. We've got some great progress and general updates for you. First, this is great. So it's another Aptera update. This is for February 2025. We're excited to show you our reactions and react to it. We hope you'll do the same. Yes. In the comments. Yeah, obviously. Show us your reaction. What do you think of this? But let's let uh, Steve talk. I want to Steve share with you some of the, the places around the world that you <laughs> might be able to catch Aptera in the coming weeks. Our Body and Carbon, or BEAK, will be on display at JEC World 2025 in Paris, France at Mitsubishi Chemicals booth. I just want to say it's really exciting that they're going to some world locations. We happen to know that we have uh, people that watch Drive the Lightning from all over the world. So it's very exciting that many of them might be in some of these areas and be able to see some of Aptera's components for themselves. They went to this last year too in France. It was really exciting. They got a lot of attention because of that, mostly because of that tub being the biggest carbon fiber press piece or whatever, you know, in ever, earth ever record thing. Yeah. Yeah. JEC World is the world's biggest composite show and we're honored that Mitsubishi chose our vehicle to highlight innovative materials manufacturing methods. Mitsubishi is the owner of CPC Group, our Italian partner. Yay! It's I awesome. think it's neat because Mitsubishi could have used any one. I'm sure they have innovated for others, but this is what they consider to be the most innovative example that they have of their processes yeah, cool. and materials. So I think it's kind of a big deal that they Even chose Aptera uh, for that. they had nothing to do with it. It was before, you know, they bought CPC, <laughs> all this was done. But now Mitsubishi's like, let us swoop in here and get some credit for this right quick. Well, That's why you buy companies, right? To get credit for it? Where? Who are you? I don't That's know. That's not positively charged it's, at all. No, it's positive. Lee charged. It also makes the raw material for Aptera's body structure. If you're local, you're welcome to see for yourself down at booth 6H58 from March 4th to 6th. And Gamma, which is one of our earlier prototypes, will be displayed. Uh, Gamma, which both of us have sat in and mm -hmm. got to experience the original revealing of it a couple of years ago. That was so exciting. So exciting. There's videos in our library. Go check it out if you want to or not. I don't know. At LG Energy Solutions booth at Enter Battery from March 5th to 7th. This is a worldwide... That's going to be mind-blowing, Sarah. A lot of people have not seen an Aptera physical prototype yet. And when you do, right. like when we did, it's mind-blowing. It really is. And when we went to see the Gamma reveal and it drove into the room, it was just plain thrilling. It was really, really, really cool. You know, it would be more interesting than it being in South Korea is if it showed up in North Korea. <laughs> well, that would be something. People would be like... <laughs> I don't even have a laptop. <laughs> Look at this thing here. You don't know if they have a laptop. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying it's seen. Okay, you're right. I don't know anything. It's true. <laughs> battery convention where big players in the space show off the latest in battery technology. Like like big players in the battery space, like the guy that used to have the battery on his shoulder, the Duracell, and say, knock it off, I dare you. The bunny. The Energizer the bunny. The Energizer bunny. So that those guy, two big players. Got, uh, the copper top. Yeah, those two big players and then LG. Yeah. We're honored to be invited by our partners at LG Energy Solution and CTNS. Any Aptera fans are in the area, you're welcome to come and see the- By the way, that's a great partnership with LG. LG is becoming like the number one, and I don't know if I'm saying that statistically correctly, but they are in all kinds of EVs now. I yeah. mean, like almost every EV is using LG, which is great. It is, it's exciting. By the way, do you know what LG stands for? The original iteration of the company, LG? Life is good. Uh, Lucky Goodwin. Oh. Yeah, Lucky okay. Goodwin. Life is good. That's they, they had to say something later. It was like, this don't make sense to anybody. <laughs> Let's just say life is good. It's better for commercials. Because they were afraid people were mixing them yeah. up with like algae, but that grows in aquariums. And they're like, no, LG. that's not it. Oh, it's goodness. LG. Lucky Goodwin. Oh, I see. I don't even know if that's right, but that's what I was. <laughs> that's what I always thought it was because okay. working at Best Buy. You would probably win on Jeopardy. Vehicle at the LGES booth. And meet members of the Aptera team. We all know that vehicle efficiency is one piece of the puzzle for us to make. There he goes. Now I'm going to say this. I'm not going to say it again. I know exactly you, what, what you're about say? to. You're going to say he put his hand in his pocket. Am I lying? You're not lying. I mean, who gives but a fuck to talk call with their hand in their pocket? To it. Come on. He's been doing great. I think. Yeah. Us to make this planet a better place for us all. But the other is power generation from Aptera's solar array. Our solar team, paired with our electrical systems team, are working together to gather more real-world solar data from our vehicles and various test setups. We're exploring unique ways to share this data in a meaningful way and should have more to share soon. 
And finally, the big news, this past month, we put our first production attempt validation vehicle on the test track of a major OEM in the Mojave Desert to validate our efficiency estimates under real world. I think that looks so cool. I know it's not intended, the black wheel pant. I don't know if that's just unwrapped or, or if it's just made just for this testing. I want black wheel pants. For it, looks, it is a really cool accent. It looks really cool. Now, I'd like to uh, address the elephant in the room here for just a moment. Some of the comments have accused us of trying to do like a Mystery Science 3000 what? thing. And I don't what? know what that is. I've never heard of it. Have you ever heard of it? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what, we've what? never, ever heard of what you're talking about. This is all 100% original with like the outline of us watching and we making fun of videos. Of it out of we nowhere. thought of it all by ourselves. It's just like, hey, you no know help. what would be fun? Yeah, that's what my lawyer said to read. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Conditions. First, we conducted coast down testing at various speeds to isolate aerodynamic losses from powertrain losses. The results were remarkable. Our vehicle took over three minutes to go from 60 miles an hour to a complete stop, which was also going uphill. It's a testament to the exceptional efficiency of Aptera. We can beat that because with our Nissan Leaf, we can coast down from 60 to zero in like 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take any time oh, at all. Oh, it's not a race. The idea is to go further. Okay. Oops. Because of the efficiency. I know. It's, you know I'm yeah. joking. I know. Okay. Hey, wait. Which OEM track do you think they got on? Nissan. Mitsubishi? No, Nissan. Oh. I don't, uh, Steve at Aptera, Aptera Owners Club went on Google Maps and figured it out, but I don't remember. Seemed like he said Nissan, but I'm not sure. Cool. In fact, the coast now was so long that it exceeded the measuring capabilities of our equipment by a significant margin. To watch the entire coast down test, check out our video. Why is there semicolons between the numbers instead of colons? European? We're not. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Really? Is that I a don't thing? know. Oh, if it, I don't know if that timer is a me, Nissan timer me. and that's how they do that. They're I, Japanese, I right? Well, that's not European. From this week. I don't think it's the test track that put the, the numbers up there. Okay. What are they getting passed by? Boy, I paused that and it looks like they're getting passed by a, a something on the left. <laughs> it does kind of look like a, like a duck. There's his eyes and there's his beak. I saw them he's on looking the right at us. <laughs> video and it is a drop of water you saw that in the original the video it yes. looks like a duck looking yes. at me yes and i can't believe you managed to pause it like that exact moment that's hilarious this is gonna be really hard to sync up i just realized oh because i'm not cutting the video We're, okay next we conducted aerodynamic tough testing on select areas of the vehicle to ensure the airflow matches with what we've seen in many of our cfd simulations we put tufts on select parts of the vehicle, like around the wheel fairing, as well as some of the gaps of the vehicle. This gave us insights into how much the fit and flush of different pieces. I really want tufts. On ours, you ours should come with tufts. Yes. Look how cute they are. Oh my, they look like hair. They're so cute. Car hair. I love them. We'll change the total vehicle efficiency. It felt great seeing these tufts behaving just as we'd expect them to. Finally. So you're telling me you expected <laughs> If you stuck a, a, a hair to a car, that when it drove, it would blow back? Listen, Tufts... There's something I don't Tufts, understand about this. This is what you don't understand. Tufts are notoriously ill-behaved. And when I got on that Terra, they did just exactly what they were supposed you to do. You want them to They're behave. They're very well-behaved. Yeah. Good yeah. Tufts. But it's interesting. It'll definitely um, lead to more accurate data. Yeah. We conducted an extended highway drive cycle test covering hundreds of miles and discharging the pack to measure energy consumption. Um, thank you to the members of the channel. I want to say that now before the end for making the wheels turn on the positively charged YouTube channel. You are amazing and we appreciate all of you. Yeah, thank you so much. And, and if you're not a member yet, look into it. It's five kind bucks. Of, it's not yeah, that. It's five bucks. Or, or ten it. bucks if you want. Ten or bucks. Yeah, there's a couple options. Uh, Bob, but yeah. Bob Newchild, thank you for the coffee. It's always appreciated. All yes. the support you people have given us. We really, really, really appreciate all of you. Yes, we do. Even if you're just watching, you're not a member, we don't and appreciate you, you are as buying much. coffee, but you are watching, thank you. You're semi-appreciated. By maintaining a consistent speed and driving pattern, we are able to minimize variables like wind conditions and driver differences for better accuracy. The results were exactly what we'd hoped for. Our mathematical simulation model predicted real-world efficiency with remarkable accuracy within just a few percent. With this first test, we're even more confident that Aptera will be the most efficient production vehicle ever 
surpassing anything that came before it. Okay, let's be clear. We all, let's just be honest. Everybody watching this, if you've been following Aptera, including Sarah and I, wanted to see real numbers. That's what we were hoping. Yeah. We were hoping when they discharge the pack, they say, and guess what? We got that 400 miles. Or when they did the tufts or whatever you call it, and they, they would come back and say, guess what? We can, you know, the, the efficiency of the aerodynamics is exactly what the computer said. That's not what we got. Uh, but Even that's just impatience of people that are not actually going through the work of doing the things. But right. it seems like, Sarah, that's going to lead to that last statement he made about we're more confident than ever makes me think that then that's going to lead to them getting uh, or making them feel that they can get the results that they've been shooting for, I guess. Does that sound right? Am I crazy? I, I mean, I don't know. I do wish, like he said, within a few percent, I, I wish we knew the range of percent. I mean, is it 2 to 3 percent? Is it 9 to 10 percent? Is it 15 to 20 percent? I mean, you can see where I'm going with this. A few percent can mean a lot different things. I, I do think as the tests mature, and they get more data, they will be more specific. I think I this that, is the yeah. very early stages of yeah. testing and they don't want to oversell or undersell. So, mm -hmm. but the point that Steve is making is that nothing was unexpected. They did not get it on the track and it was way, way off and they something's yeah. very wrong and they have to take it all back to formula. Formula. <laughs> And it will only get better as we continue to refine and optimize from here. This alignment between calculated and real-world performance gives us immense confidence in everything from aerodynamics to tri-train efficiency as we move towards production. Our next validation vehicle is being built right now with refined and optimized parts. Once it's ready, we'll be back on the track to push the limits of efficiency, showing you just how far Aptera can go on a full range test from a full battery all the way down to 0%. Our validation testing results so far confirm that we're on track to hit our energy target consumption of roughly 101 hours per mile, unlocking a record high efficiency that makes solar mobility possible. We couldn't be more proud of the team for getting us here. What started as MATLAB calculations is now coming to life on the road. And we see nothing stopping us from delivering the 400 mile range vehicle we've all been dreaming about. Well, that's nice to hear. That from is from very what they've nice. seen, they think, yes, we'll be able to get those four, which tells me they did not get 400 miles, I don't think. Hmm. But they will be able to with the changes they'll make because of your Tufts. I love the Tufts. I don't know if it's the Tufts, but some the reason. The Tufts are obviously a key player in this one. I think thing. if they got 400 miles, they would have said it. Right? I don't know. Okay. vehicle that will change how the world views transportation, harnessing the power of the sun to make the planet a better place for everyone. We can't wait to show you more. Until next time. Okay, thank you, Steve Fambro. Thank you, Aptera team. Bye, thank you for watching and subscribing and liking and, and um, especially thank you to members. our members. Yes. Yes, and the Mug Club. And the Mug Club. Y'all rock. We, we do. appreciate it. There's another video to watch right here in the top right corner. This is what we mentioned earlier when we saw Gamma for the first time. You'll see how giddy we are. Pretty yeah. ridiculous. We feel like little, we watch it back, so we're like, I don't remember ever being that happy before. Yeah. And when you watch it, please bear in mind, it had been a very long, very day, long day, a long weekend. It was incredibly hot. Incredibly it was hot. Unseasonably, unseasonably warm. Unseasonably warm. And so we were just so exhausted if it hadn't right. been as exciting as it was. So when you watch it, do you think we look like we're exhausted? Aptera took a, a, um, all that away because it was just too exciting. Too fun. Yeah, too cool. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, <laughs>